Yeah, John, it looks tight. Hit it with the foam roller, stretch it, and you're good, man. What's up, guys? James and Gerds here, and this hip opener series, I'm so excited you're here because I want you to be better than that. I want the coach or the trainer that you're currently working with to fix, you know, maybe chronic hip pain or dysfunction, challenging with your squat pattern, you've got this weird kink whenever you, you know, step this direction. I want to provide a little bit more clarity to that in this three-part series so that you're not just doing things in the gym that don't matter. I did it for years and that is why I was so excited to make this video. Now listen, why is it three parts? Let's talk about it. Number one, strengthen. Number two, we, I'm sorry, number one, mobilize. Number two, strengthen. And lastly, we want to optimize. What does that all mean? Okay, the first place we're gonna start is moving the hip, mobilizing it, okay? Regardless of whether or not you think it's tight or it has, you know, the hamstring is, is not doing this or whatever you think it is, mobilizing it is gonna cover every single muscle group in the hips, okay? We're gonna focus on four primary movement patterns at the hip joint, and in doing that, we're gonna cover moving all the muscles through a full range of motion, okay? Secondly, we're gonna strengthen, okay? Now strengthen, I'm not talking about going and pounding iron or, or getting after it in the gym. I'm talking about strengthening in a way specifically that it'll transfer into your training, okay? So this hip training is for anybody. Mobilizing the hips, it is the root of your spine. It impacts every other joint in your body. So it's very important and it can be for anybody, regardless of whether you currently have pain or not or dysfunction, you can do these exercises. And lastly, we're gonna optimize it. What does optimization mean? Well, I'm not gonna say go stretch, because maybe you don't need to, but I will provide you with exercises that will help lengthen certain tissues in those four primary movement patterns that I mentioned to you. So, I'm really excited for this three-part series. I know you're gonna get value from it. Without further ado, guys, let's jump in to the first part of the series. Mobile. 